e2 e4 c7 c5 knight g1 f3 knight b8 c6 d2 d4 c5 takes on d4 knight f3 takes on d4 knight g8 f6 knight b1 c3 e7 e5 knight d4 b5 d7 d6 Preparing for this game I saw that my opponent had played a number of games in long theoretical lines and done well out of them. The prospect of having to find a novelty on move 32 of the Svshnikov was not appealing to me, so I decided to play a less critical move, which would quickly lead to an independent game. Knight c3 d5 Knight f6 captures d5. e4 takes on d5. Knight c6 b8. a2 a4. This line is not especially dangerous for black. The idea is nb5 a3 c4 b6, but this rarely happens in practice, and if it does, then only after black has made great gains on the king side. On the other hand the move is not bad and white is not worse. Bishop f8 e7 Bishop f8 e7 Bishop f1 e2 Castling king side Castling king side Knight b8 d7 Bishop c1 e3 a7 a6 Knight b5 a3 This is the critical position of the game. Black needs to find his path forward. Most of his pieces are not well placed and need to find a function, note that finding a function slash future is not necessarily the same as moving. A good strategy for this position would include a vision for all of the black pieces. This is what you would usually expect from a strong grandmaster. Bishop e7 g5 if you think too superficially, this is a great looking move. Black needs to exchange his bad bishop before developing the queen side. But as you have probably gathered, the problem is not in the first part of this sentence, but in the second part. Beyond the exchange of bishops, Black has no plan for the rest of his pieces, nor any idea of what will happen after the exchange. I was quite pleasantly surprised by this move as it gives me extra time to spend on the queen side. f7 f5 has been played in a number of games, with black starting action on the king side. This is certainly the right way to play. The bishop is likely to stay on c8 for a very long time, until a good square is available for it. However, it would have a future. As the game goes, there is no function available for the bishop until eventually it is exchanged for white's bad bishop. Bishop e3 captures g5. Apparently this was a novelty, but it is the only move that makes sense. f2 f4 e5 takes on f4. Bishop e3 captures f4. Rook f8 e8. Knight a3 c4. Bishop g5 captures f4. Rook f1 takes on f4. Knight d7 e5. Was played in Morin, Koloniscu, Diaran 2004. Queen d8 captures g5. Knight a3 c4. Black has not managed to get the bc8 into play and is now faced with an attack on the d6 pawn. Already things are getting more difficult for black and the right move is no longer easy to find.
Queen g5 e7. Black is playing as if he has achieved something and has all the time in the world, but the contrary is the case. He has no active counterplay and white is progressing rapidly on the queen side. The white knight will land on b6 and the pawns will come rolling forward to support it. The more active knight d7 f6 was the right way to play, whether or not it is entirely correct. The point is, knight c4 captures d6, rook f8 d8, knight d6 captures c8, knight f6 captures d5. When in order to keep the advantage white has to play, bishop e2 g4, bishop e2 g4, h7 h5, bishop g4 f3, knight d5 f4. Knight c8 d6. Queen g5 e7. Queen d1 e1. Not an easy line for white to find. Queen g5 e7. Black is playing as if he has achieved something and has all the time in the world, but the contrary is the case. He has no active counterplay and white is progressing rapidly on the queen side. The white knight will land on b6 and the pawns will come rolling forward to support it. a4 a5. a4 a5. Rook a8 b8. b2 b4. Knight d7 f6 White is also better after f7 f5 Queen d1 d2 Knight d7 f6 Knight c4 b6 f5 f4 c2 c4 But maybe this was a better chance than the game? Knight d7 f6. Knight c4 b6. Bishop c8 f5. Was necessary, even though white is better after. c2 c4. Knight f6 d7. c2 c4. Knight d7 captures b6. a5 captures b6. Bishop c8 d7. Queen d1 d2. f7 f5. Rook a1 c1. White has a clear advantage. There is no way he is going to be made on the king side. The remainder of the game was quite easy, I think my opponent was dispirited by this point. Rook f8 c8. Rook f8 c8. c4 c5. King g8 h8. Rook f1 d1. Bishop d7 a4. Rook d1 e1. Queen e7 f8. Queen d2 a2. Bishop a4 e8. c5 c6. And white wins. Bishop a4 b5. Bishop e2 takes on b5. A6 captures B5. Queen A2 A7. Rook C8 E8. C5 C6. Rook B8 A8. Queen A7 captures B7. Rook E8 B8. Queen B7 C7. Black resigned without giving me the chance to play. Rook B8 C8. Queen C7 captures C8. When the pawns will win, 